Hey everybody, welcome back to the video side of Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. You know what? It is time to pay attention to elementary OS. probably heard about Ubuntu. It's one of the most popular Linux distributions out there. Elementary OS is based on the stable version of Ubuntu, meaning you'll get a thoroughly tested kernel and software, right? But it makes substantial tweaks to its presentation by using a custom desktop environment called Pantheon. At first blush, Elementary OS may remind you of Mac OS. It may even comfortably feel like Mac OS. But when you start to dig in and use it, the difference has become clear. It's not only easier, but far more elegant. This week, the developers behind Elementary OS introduced version 5.1, which I've been testing for the last week. It brings a lot of substantial improvements, and it manages to outclass Mac OS, and, and honestly, pretty much every other Linux distribution available in a few key areas. Elementary distinguishes itself right out of the gate. After a quick installation, you're greeted with a few welcome screens that invite you to toggle things like location services, enable a nightlight, automatically delete your temporary and trashed files, and introduces you to the App Center. It's quick. It's painless. It's helpful. No, you know, logging into an Apple account to download free apps. Although you can easily log into your Google, Nextcloud, or Fastmail accounts and have those services integrated system-wide. Now, in stark contrast to most Linux distributions, and even one-upping Mac OS here, Elementary 5.1 introduces this fantastic new greeter that handles multiple users with grace. This is the first time that I've noticed an OS login or lock screen that not only shows the user's name in their profile picture, but also their currently selected desktop wallpaper. Yeah, it's a minor thing, but I appreciate that extra personal touch. It also makes identifying your account on that screen that much faster. Another area where elementary OS thrives, in my opinion, is its implementation of parental controls, an inexplicably rare feature among Linux distributions. You can intuitively limit user access to certain apps or certain websites, or you can restrict usage of designated applications. You can even set time limits on the PC's usage altogether. I'm not a user experience design expert, but I'm pretty confident in saying that, taken on the whole, elementary OS looks downright sharp, clean, and polished. Most importantly, it all feels cohesive and purposeful, rather than various elements just being cobbled together. From the App Center to the Photos and Music and Files apps, to even the system settings menus. This desktop is stunning, and you get the sense that every pixel has a purpose. Its icons and menus pop with personality and color without leaning into garish territory. The software presented in the App Center puts a focus on elementary's own curated software, but the door is still wide open to commercial and non-free software thanks to the addition of the Flatpak support. Elementary OS it's not without its divisive features. <laughs> Where's the minimize button, for example? Founder Daniel Foray argues that the minimize button is just another way of making users do manual memory management. He also argues that this concept is no different than what iOS and Android have been doing for years. Actually, elementary OS can breathe new life into your older PC or your older Mac. So I grabbed my late 2013 MacBook Pro, which is still a beast, by the way. They, Apple really doesn't make them like they used to. And on the Mac OS side, I fired up Safari with three tabs open, uh, including YouTube. And I also launched the App Store and the Podcasts app. Mac OS reported 4.34 gigabytes of system memory being used. So then I loaded up Elementary OS 5.1, I opened its default browser with the same three websites, and then Elementary's App Center and the Vocal podcast app. Total memory used, 2.1 gigabytes, less than half. 
So if you're on a system that's kind of short on RAM, you can simply add more tasks into the mix with elementary OS. Fortunately for the average PC user, using it is really simple. And with today's introduction of version 5.1, I actually might make the switch myself. I just cannot resist that urge much longer. It feels like Mac OS, but with a sharper focus on appearance and usability and the freedom of choice that Linux excels at. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick look at the new version of Elementary OS. It's a pay-what-you-want distribution, so if you want to toss them 10 or 20 bucks, do it. If you don't feel like giving them any money and want to test drive it, do that. You can find out more about Elementary OS by visiting elementary.io. And while you're here, subscribe to this channel. When you do, you also get the weekly Linux for Everyone podcast. Thanks a ton for watching, and until the next video, take care, and take care of each other. Bye.